Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Tuesday, June 15th, 2021. My name is Terry Hunter. I'm an angel therapy practitioner, intuitive astrologer, empowerment coach, and Reiki master. And I'm here with this week's Pick an Angel Card reading. Um, what I do here is I'm going to do three different spreads. They are four card spreads or four position spreads, I should say, using two decks. I use Doreen Virtue's Messages from Your Angels, and then I use Colette Baron reeds uh, Legend of Avalon. And what I'm going to do is ask you to use your intuition, pose a question to spirit. And I find that the most powerful questions are posed in a way that empowers you um, through your perspective. How can I influence the situation versus what will happen to me? And then allow your intuition to lead you to which spread will be most applicable to your question. Um, I'm going to do three spreads and I will put the timestamps um, in the comments below. And here we go. For those of you that picked angel reading number one, the first position is the foundational position. And we pulled the angel of Vanessa and the queen card. Vanessa represents making your decisions based on faith or fear. And then the queen is about reception. Um, I rarely see the queen as an actual female energy, but rather reception versus action. Uh, to allow a situation, a dynamic, um, the elements, the components of something I want to experience to come into play versus me going out and trying to find them. And I think that part of this right now for those of you that picked angel reading number one is that I think your, um, your turn to take action is not here. It's spirit's turn to take action. So you're going to have to stand in a position of faith and then try to be as calm as you can be during the process. Fear or trepidation um, is, is the recipe for empowerment, but it also, you know, if we get into the what ifs and we start going down the road of the negative, we can start to really give life to the reality of our fears, which then pretty much exterminates our faith. So in the opportunity of the obstacle is the forgiveness card and Ari Ariana. And Ariana, Adriana, I don't know why I said Ariana. Adriana says she's leading you to the answers to your prayers, through your dreams, through your thoughts, through those subtle intuitions that you're getting. And then we have the forgiveness card. The forgiveness card for me is more um, the energy of reconciliation. It, it becomes something that when I have been challenged by my fear, I then can forgive the situation because I can reconcile it by understanding that I could not have done anything about this. I had to allow spirit to lead me. Certain things had to come into play in order for me to be able to take advantage of that opportunity. So in the angel's advice is Daniel, the angel of marriage and partnership and the B card. I believe that this is not about marriage partnership, but representing contracts in general. This can be anything that has to do with commitment. So it could be a job. It could be a commitment in a business partnership. It could be a commitment in a podcast. It could be a commitment of, of employer and employee. Um, and of course, it could be a marriage, but I'm, I'm not really thinking that right now. What I'm thinking is it's an opportunity to move my story forward um, and standing in a dynamic professionally that feels more aligned to who and what I want to experience and to use my um, talents and strengths at their highest level. So what Daniel asks you in the angel's advice is to review, review your history in relationships, in partnerships, in your employers, in your employees and ask yourself what is your attitude what is your being energy what is your disposition about it because the angels are telling you that you're being led in some way and that leading you will actually give you awareness that you could not have done anything so all you can do at this time is be aware of your history and then stay in the present moment because in the final outcome is akasha the teacher card 
the spiritual teacher, and the water fairy. And I think for those who picked angel reading number one, you are not the teacher. You are not the one who will counsel others, but rather you will learn about your intuitive body, about your emotional body, and how when you base your decisions on fear, I mean on faith rather than fear, when you say to yourself, I believe that I may not be see the evidence of this shift, but I know I have been standing in alignment. I've been standing aware of my history and then my attitude. So I'm willing to invite this experience in. Um, whatever, I don't think this is truly oriented to one dynamic or genre of life as much as it feels like an attitude. It feels like an attitude that then sets the tone for the experience. So I believe that what you are endeavoring for this week and the coming months ahead is to allow yourself to receive your bounty, to receive the good things in life and to ask yourself, where am I on the scale of reception? Do I believe that when good things happen, that there's some sort of ticking clock, another shoe is going to drop, the rug is going to be pulled out from underneath me? Or do I know that I'm standing in this higher elevation, that I have been on a spiritual journey for a while, and now I'm ready to stand not only in faith that good things are happening to me, but that I have been working in concert with spirit because I am aware of my being energy and I'm allowing my history to work for me rather than tanking me. And I'm willing to trust and learn from my emotions and from my intuitions. All right, let's go on to reading number two. All right, for those of you that picked reading number two, we have Chantal, the angel of romance. She um, will indicate the resurgence of, um, an, of a romance. And um, she will indicate, let me be more clear, I, a current romance, fe romance feeling more connected, more exciting. And then she will also talk about bringing in a new romance. And then we have the disruption card. And I'm gonna to need to pull the rest of the spread to see what this means. So in the opportunity or the obstacle, we have the communications card and we have Archangel Michael, the angel of protection, but he also asks us to have the courage to make the life changes in order to support our bigger vision and to communicate those. In the angel's advice, we have the earth fairy and we have Rosetta. She represents guiding, teaching, our parenting children and the earth fairy represents the foundation we walk on. It represents literally mother earth. And in the final position, we have the trust card and we have mystique. Okay, so this is what I wanna say. Um, for those who picked angel reading number two, if there is some sort of disruption in your romance, and I want to say this, it could be a, a miscommunications. We are currently in a Mercury retrograde. Most of you have heard about retrogrades. Mercury is all about communications, everyday activities. It also rules our siblings, our workmates, our teammates, our neighborhoods, our communities. So if indeed there's been some sort of disruption within your romance, I believe that spirit is asking you to have the courage to lovingly and succinctly communicate what it is that you want. And if indeed, for some reason, that does involve parenting or teaching children, it's time for you to stand on that platform strongly and to trust it because Mystique is telling you to continue to move forward, to expect miracles, and here is the trust card. And so I think that this is either one of two things will happen. This is about interpersonal relationships, intimate relationships. If for some reason you are single and you're dating somebody and the rules of engagement have come on the table, I want kids, I don't want kids. I want to get married, I don't want to get married. I want to live together, I don't want to live together. Um, I blah, 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 whatever the story is. Allowing your deeper truth to come to the surface and to communicate that as succinctly and as lovingly as possible and then allow the universe to put things into play. And I want to offer it this way because I think this disruption card it could potentially be that some parties need to absorb the information. And right now it feels like disruption could in some ways be the doorway to your dreams. Um, we have this astrological dynamic uh, that's the theme of 2021. If you watch my videos, you've seen me talk about Saturn squaring Uranus. 
Saturn is in Aquarius, which represents innovation. And Uranus is in Taurus, which represents dependability, stability, my, my family legacy, my history in, in how I operate also represents my money. So I want to offer this. If there has been a disruption in your romance, hold space for what it is that you want and to lovingly assert your attitude towards that rather than villainizing the other party because they may inadvertently come around to your way of thinking. And if for some reason your current partner doesn't or your current person you're dating does not want to have certain markers, then allowing the natural fork in the road would then give spirit the opportunity to bring somebody more aligned to your goals and to what you want. Um, yeah. So that's it for reading number two. Let's go on to our reading number three. Our first angel is Archangel Uriel, and we have the dog, which represents unconditional love, loyalty, and sincerity. And as you can see, my little dog is under my desk right there. Lucky, say hi to the people. Then we have in our opportunity and or our obstacle is Teresa, which is a card uh, for me of worry, of concern, also caring a little bit more about other people's opinions, maybe than my own. And then we have the butterfly, which represents blossoming into a beauty. Then we have in the angel's advice, we have Oceana saying to take action and the letting go card. This letting go card is never about let it go. Oh, let that bad thing go. This is the song from Frozen, let it go. It's funny how some distance makes everything look small and the fears that once controlled me can't get to me at all. It's time to see what I can do to test the limits to break through no right, no wrong, no rules for me, I'm free. That's the lyrics to the song. So I think that's gonna come um, into play quite important for you this week. And in the final position, we have the movement card and we have Crystal saying, have faith and hope there's more on the horizon you can't see. Um, for those of you that picked angel reading number three, if you are frustrated in your love relationships or lack thereof love, I feel like this is an opportunity to really look and to be reconcile your situations. If indeed you have people in your life that have not uh, demonstrated loyalty or sincerity and you feel frustrated or angry that this has happened, this is an opportunity rather than to villainize the other party to just see the lack of synergy between you and to focus in on what you want to experience and allow Archangel Uriel to balance out uh, the other dynamic, the other person's perception or your uh, frustration with their perception. Because I do think this is about, about the other party and worrying that the other person is not on the same page or may not want the same things that you want. The butterfly goes from a dark place or the caterpillar goes from a dark place into the transformation of the butterfly. And I feel like this is an opportunity for those of that picked angel reading number three is to see, you know, are you wanting something maybe slightly different in your relationships? Do I need to have my relationship be um, the same as other people's relationships or can I rewrite that relationship? And I think it's really important that for some reason, I know this is going to sound kind of weird, but I'm seeing um, Heidi and Spencer Pratt right now in my head. And you know, a lot for a long time, Spencer was under fire for being kind of a loose cannon. Um, a difficult person with anger issues and Heidi stood by him for years and years and the love they bond they brought together um, stems from that loyalty. So there's something going on here that feels like um, really determining the difference between an anger and a frustration in a situation that is not working and being in a situation where you where you may see something a little bit different than other people and you've got to trust an inner knowing because in the angel's advice is Oceana saying to take action, you're in touch with your truth and the letting go card is about doing things your own way. And this coupled with allowing yourself to blossom and not worry about what other people are thinking or what other people are expecting of you, but allowing your own 
dynamic to come through. And I think that this may not be just in intimate love. I, I might have said that at the beginning, but now as I'm getting into this, it might be in love relationships in general because in the final position is the movement card and the angel crystal saying have faith and hope there's more on the horizon that you can't see. So I say so a lot, I noticed. I got to stop that. I am, um, during this Mercury retrograde, I have had a lot of people from my, my story, my history, my previous chapters of life kind of show up knocking on the door. And these relationships have proven repeatedly to be difficult or dismissive or I have not felt loyalty or sincerity from other people in those relationships. So rather than being angry at them, because I am not, I just decided that I didn't want to re-engage in the relationships. And in doing so, I'm opening a space for spirit to bring in relationships that are more aligned to my own evolution, to my beliefs at this chapter in my life, to my frequency and my vibration and what I want to experience in the exchange of two or three or four or five humans interacting. So for those of you that picked angel reading number three, I think that the idea of sincerity and loyalty and relationships ha is coming up for you. If you're not already experiencing frustration, uh, Archangel Uriel is asking you to open up to greater um, um, opportunities for love and to allow yourself to maybe go into a bit of a dark place before you blossom as you unravel what others want or what others perceive as successful in relationships and what you want for yourself because there's absolutely um, an opportunity or, or the angels are saying there's something you want that's something different it's aligned to a, a different vibration maybe a higher vibration and an innovated vibration nonetheless and as you allow and afford for that meaning as you give space to say all right universe thank you for bringing me an experience that solidifies uh, this inner yearning for um, a more sincere a more loyal a more connected and trusting dynamic and then they will do that so that's it for this week um, we have a full moon in Capricorn coming up next week. We have Jupiter going retrograde. We have the summer solstice here in, um, in the United States on this side of the hemisphere of the earth. So there's gonna be a lot of, a um, lot more interesting um, astrological weather going on. We always have a lot of interesting stuff, but these last couple of years have been um, extremely transformative in that the dynamics are things that only happen um, very rarely. I mean, even meteors and all other things, you know, 5,000 years since this, 200 years since that. So I want to encourage you all to really focus in on what you want to experience, focus in on what you want to um, savor in life. And even if you are experiencing something different, your willingness to go into a place of the unknowing, a place of imagination, dream time, um, that can help spirit bring those experiences into the material world. All right, everybody, my name is Terry Hunter. I'm an angel therapy practitioner, intuitive astrologer, empowerment coach, and Reiki master. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, my information is below. Feel free to contact me. All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.